guys, welcome back to my channel or just welcome if this is your first video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this fun 4th of July look. This would be a perfect look for if you have a 4th of July party coming up and you just wanna be a little bit extra with your makeup. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you would like to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've got my eyebrows done, I've got my tape templates on, and I've got concealer on my eyelids to be my eyeshadow base. I haven't set the concealer either because I want to get as much pigment as possible. First, I'm gonna be taking my Morphe 35B palette and I'm just gonna go in with this blue shade here and I'm popping that on this small domed pencil brush and I'm just gonna be packing that dark blue into the crease in a bit of a winged shade. Okay, next I'm gonna be going in with my Lime Crime Venus 2 palette, and I'm just gonna take this shade here called Filter, and I'm popping it on this fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to use this to blend out the dark blue. So I'm just going to lightly dab the eyeshadow on so that I'm not mixing the two colors together too much, because I still want there to be a bit of a transition from the dark blue to the light blue. I'm just going to go back and forth between these two shades of blue and just try and get this to blend out a bit more. Alright, so we've got the base of the crease down. Now I'm just going to be taking a cotton bud and just some toner and I'm just going to try and remove some of the eyeshadow where I'm going to be cutting the crease because I don't want to have too much blue in there because I'm trying to have a white base. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the cut crease. So to do that I'm going to be using my P. Louise base and this is in the shade Rumor Zero and I'm popping that on just a flat concealer brush. And I'm just going to be carving this out in a winged shape. I'm going to be using dabbing uh, motions because I don't want to be mixing the colour around and I want it to be as white as possible so yeah. Now I'm just going to be setting the cut crease, so I'm going to be taking just this white shade here, popping it on a small eyeshadow brush, and just setting the eyeshadow base. Now I'm going to go back to the crease, and I'm going to take my Kat Von D Super Brow. This is in the shade White Out. And I'm taking a small liner brush and I'm just going to draw on some little white stars across the edge of the cut crease. I'm just going to do the stars on the one eye because it's way too hard to do on both eyes. So now I'm going to be moving on to the red and white stripes. So I'm going to be taking my red liquid lipstick. This is Feels So Grand by MAC. And I'm just taking another small liner brush and I'm going to be using this to draw some vertical red stripes. And the reason I'm doing them vertical instead of horizontal is because I know that when I open my eyes, it's just going to transfer all over the white and I don't want that to happen. And also because I know it's going to be way too hard to get a straight line due to the curvature 
of my eyeball. So yeah. Okay, so that is the top of the eyes complete, pretty much, I think. Now I'm just going to remove my tape. And now I'm just gonna go do the rest of my face makeup. And then I will be back to finish off the look for you guys. Okay, so my face makeup is all done. Now I'm just gonna go back in with those two blue shades and smoke out the lower lash line. All right, and last but not least, we've got highlighter. So I'm sticking with the blue, white, and red, and I'm gonna be taking my Lime Crime Mermaids highlight and going in with this shade here called Mermaid. And I'm just gonna pop that on this small eyeshadow brush and applying this to my tear duct and my brow bone. And then I'll be applying that to my cheekbone as well, but I'll be using this fluffy highlighting brush. That was going to be the last step, but I just decided I'm going to be adding in some eyeliner to the waterline. So I'm just going to go back in with the same white Kat Von D um, pomade and the same brush. Alright, now it's actually time for the final step and I'm going to be doing mascara and lashes. So I'm just going to be using my EXO Beauty Foam Ink Lashes and these are in the style Exotic. And I'm just going to do that off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys the completed look. Alright, so this is the completed look with lashes. I'm really loving this look. I'm very proud of myself for coming up with this one all by myself. I probably would have preferred to have some little star-shaped um, sequins to stick on instead, but I actually like how it, the stars are white. Definitely a very fun look if you've got some uh, big 4th of July plans coming up. Um, I myself don't because I live in Australia, uh, but I love to celebrate and um, I love doing themed makeup. So I thought I would join in a little bit um, or try to join in anyway. If you guys recreate this look, please make sure to tag me in it because I would love to see uh, any other recreations. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your post notifications if you don't want to miss any videos from me. And I hope you guys have a great 4th of July.